Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry we're going to discuss electrons. Um, today's the central question, how are electrons arranged around the nucleus? When you're writing your summary, make sure to answer the essential question. All right, quick review um, of the stuff you already know about electrons. Electrons are negatively charged. Electrons are really, 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 really small. They have very little mass. Basically, they do not change the mass of an atom. Their mass or weight is so insignificant. However, they take up most of the volume or space of the atom. Okay, so if you guys remember that ugly picture I drew, if I make the yellow the nucleus, this pink would be all the space the electrons would take up. So as you can see, the electrons take up a lot more space or volume than the nucleus, even though they take up basically no mass. Okay. Electrons are found outside the nucleus in what we call the electron cloud. And it was once thought by Bohr that electrons orbit the nucleus like planets orbit the sun. So let me draw a real quick picture, um, a model of the atom that probably most of you have seen. So we've got the yellow that's the nucleus, and then we have the electrons going around and around the nucleus. Kind of like the planets orbit the sun. Um, so this is a model that most students are familiar with because it's an easy model to draw. And although it's in, inaccurate, it's still, it's still used today. Um, and you'll see why later that we have a tendency to draw this particular model that, that Bohr came up with versus the real model because the real model is very difficult. So anyway, turns out that this is not true but we'll still use it. Okay. It turns out that the electrons are in a cloud all around the nucleus, kind of like this really ugly picture I draw, drew here, but they're actually a bit more organized than what I drew. They're in this thing, they're in these things called orbitals. So we're going to spend um, the rest of this lecture talking about the organization of the electron cloud. It, it is actually quite organized. All right, on to energy levels. Energy levels, energy in general, and electrons are, are two concepts that really go well together. Um, the energy level of electron is the region around the nucleus where the electron is likely to be moving. Um, an energy level is the distance the electron is from the nucleus. Each energy level is represented by what we call a quantum number. Um, and a quantum number is you can think of it as just a, a, a discrete whole number. We've got one and two and three and so forth. And the larger the quantum number, the farther the, it, it, the electron is from the nucleus. Okay, so once again, I'll draw my nucleus in yellow. So this is the nucleus. Okay, and then we have energy levels. So basically, you've got this area right here. And if I color it all in, If the electron is anywhere in that little pink area, it's an energy level one. It's a certain distance from the nucleus. And then this white area is farther from the nucleus. That would be energy level two. Um, and I guess we could do another one. If we have this pink area farther from the nucleus, that would be energy level three. Um, the reason that you go up in energy levels as you get farther from the nucleus is it gets more difficult for the electron to move away from the nucleus. It takes more energy. Um, so energy level one is closer to the nucleus, then we go to energy level two, which is farther, and energy level three, that is farther still. And as you can see, this particular model here is sort of a, I don't know, conglomeration. It's putting together of, this orbit model and my scribbly model. So it's, it's more organized than this model, less organized or exact than that model. Okay, so that's the energy levels. 
All right, there's another level of organization, and that is the sublevels. So each principal energy level is divided into one or more sublevels. Okay, so again, we've got the nucleus, and then if this is energy level one, we could have a sublevel here in white, that's one sublevel, and a second sublevel here in pink. Okay, but they're all in energy level one. So there's there's energy levels. This would be energy level one. And then we've got two sublevels. That's a sublevel. And that's a sublevel. Okay. There's a pattern to these sublevels. The number of sublevels in each energy level is the same as the quantum number for that energy level for energy levels one through four. Okay, so energy level one has one sublevel. Energy level two has two sublevels. Energy level three would then have three sublevels. Energy level four has four sublevels, and then energy level five, six, seven all have four sublevels. Okay, so if you go back to this drawing, you can see that energy level one, the pink one, is smallest. That's why there's only one sublevel. Energy level two is larger, it can fit more sublevels, it can fit two. Energy level three can fit three, and so forth. There's a third level of organization that in the in the electron cloud and that is the orbitals so um, each sublevel contains one or more orbital an atomic orbital is a region around the nucleus of an atom where the where an electron with a given energy or a, a given energy level is likely to be found think of an orbital as a specific location for a specific electron and each orbital can hold two electrons, and that's going to become very important soon. Okay, so there's three levels of orbit organization. There's the energy levels, and that's the exact distance from the nucleus. There are the sublevels, and that's sort of the area within the energy level that the electron will be. And then there's the orbital, and you can think of the orbital as the exact seat that the electron is in. Um, all right, let's go back and talk about sublevels and with that, their orbitals. Okay, there are four different types of sublevels. Their sublevels are named with letters S, P, D, and F. Remember that energy levels or quantum energy levels are named with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, sublevels are named with letters S, P, D, and F. Okay, sublevel, the S sublevel has what we call a spherical shape. It's, you know, like a circle, but 3D circle. It contains only one orbital. And remember, how many electrons can fit in one orbital? Two electrons. So a total of two electrons can fit in a, in an S sublevel, okay? And the S sublevel has, low, has the lowest energy and of any of the four sublevels, and we'll talk more about that later. So here is a sort of a picture of an S sublevel. Okay. Then we've got the P sublevel. Um, the P sublevel, we say it has a dumbbell shape. Doesn't look much like a dumbbell to me, but whatever. It contains three orbitals. So if it has three orbitals, each electron, each orbital can hold two electrons, so it can hold a, hold a total of six electrons. And the P sublevel has a higher energy than the S sublevel. So here is an example right here of a p orbital. So it's sort of like this and they call that dumbbell shape. And next to it is a picture of all three p orbitals put together. So you can kind of see it. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so that's the p. And then you've got the d sublevel. The d sublevel has a cloverleaf shape, sort of. It contains five orbitals, two electrons in each of the orbitals, which leads to a total of 10 electrons that can fit in the D sublevel. The D sublevel has a higher energy than the P sublevel. So the S is the lowest, and then the P, and then the D. 
So here is an example, sort of, of a D sublevel, and this is like a 3D picture. And then we've got the F sublevel. It has what they call a complex shape, which means we can't really draw it. Um, it contains a total of seven orbitals, um, two electrons in each orbital. So that's a total of 14 electrons that can fit into this F sublevel. The F sublevel has a higher energy level than the D sublevel. Okay, you guys need to know the, the four sublevels, the S, the P, the D, and the F. You need to know which one has the lowest, you know, in order, and how many orbitals are in each, and how many electrons. So again, the S has one orbital, two electrons. The P has three orbitals, which means six electrons. The D has five orbitals, which means ten electrons. And the F has seven orbitals, which means 14 electrons. All right, we're going to spend the rest of this unit talking about the location of electrons. You can tell where an electron is by what we call its address. Instead of an address with a city, state, and street name, electrons have an address of an energy level, like energy level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, a sublevel, SPDF, and an orbital. And that's it for today. However, the story continues. This was just a preview.